All right, so in this case, um, on this one, now obviously you guys can see these are not exactly the same, right? It's pretty obvious these are not exactly the same. Um, but they are similar, and I forgot to actually to write in the congruency statement for this. Um, but this one does say, on this problem, it actually does give us the congruency. Actually, well, we don't even need the congruency. But you guys can see that if I was going to say that these triangles are congruent, triangle um, J, W, V, Z, C is similar. I'm sorry, not triangle, quadrilateral. Or not even quadrilateral, pentagon. Um, to pentagon. What the heck did I do? That's 20. Sorry about that. That's 8. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, the side is 20. Sorry. Sorry, I forgot, I didn't mention all that. So those are going to be similar to each other. Now, so what I want to do is rewrite sides all right, that we can write a proportion for. Because we can't solve anything unless, of similarity unless we have a proportion. All right. So one thing I want to look at here is I, so if you guys see, here's my similarity statement. right? I want to be able to see what side is JW similar to that I can write a proportion for. So JW is similar to what side yes. over here? US. US or SU? Which one is it? Yeah. Right. So J is to W as U is to S. Layla, you need to remain always facing forward. Put your knees on your desk, fully on your desk, and stay that way, please. Thank you. You can also look at it this way. JW is the same as US, not SU. Okay, US, make sure you're just going in the same direction. So I'll set up a ratio. JW is equal to US. Now remember, that's going to be the same ratio for all the other sides ratios that we can find, right? Ratios. But let's go and find another one that we can set a proportion, because once we have a proportion, we can solve. So I also notice here I have one, which I could call that JC, right, which gives you 3C. So JC is similar. To what other side over here? Right. Think about it this way. J C, right? J to C is the same as U to P. Right? Now, now, ladies and gentlemen, what I want to do is now let's plug in what we know. So we know that J W is X plus one. We know that uh, U S is eight which is equal to JC, which is 3x plus 1. And um, UP is 20. What I'm doing, you do need to understand, or you're not going to be able to understand how to take a test or do the homework or anything else on your own. Then you're just a robot doing exactly what I need you to do, and then you're just not going to be able to pass anything else. So all I'm doing, John, is I just take in each value, JW right here. That value is x plus 1. JW, x plus 1. Then the next one, which is US. US is right here. The length is 8. So all I did was I plugged them in for their lengths. Okay. Now we go ahead and take our product, for which is cross multiplication products. What's up, What do you mean? You, what, you want me to do some other sides? Well, no, I'm just asking why you chose those two. Well, because those are the two that have variables with them, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, what good is it going to be if I say, what is VZ? I don't even know any measurement on VZ. See what I'm saying? So yeah, you want to use the one where obviously you have some variables of something to solve for. OK? So Kiana, could you put your knees on your desk, please? So now, yeah, you just go ahead and solve. So again, what I would recommend, guys, when you're doing this cross product is do 20 times x plus 1. Make sure you apply those parentheses. 
because I guarantee you, majority of you, this is where you're going to get stuck, is you're not going to apply the parentheses in there, and you're going to forget to apply distributive property. So. What? You don't, but if you make a mistake, you will lose points. Sorry? Anybody have any questions on this? So therefore, the value of x is equal to 3. OK? There you go. How did that help you in life? How did that help you in life? OK, so let's look at 